gotta stop smoking. Correct? Is that is that like a good analogy? Like y'all want to be nurses and like teachers and all of that, so you don't. Smoke. I mean, because nurses me, and teachers do smoke, by the way. But I'm gonna say from my experience. Mm-hmm. So there was a point where I was smoking every day, mm-hmm. and Burnt I realized I had to stop for two reasons. Mm-hmm. One, I would become super unproductive. Like unproductive like I wouldn't want to do anything but lay in mm. my bed after mm. and also I was gaining weight cause I was just eating everything in sight oh, I, after I, like, I, thought, I thought weed makes you lose mm, weight yeah I think it makes you lose weight when you are not eating everything after oh okay I was eating everything like it was like I'm, I was a food fiend okay after that makes sense but that's, that's your experience I'm gonna say this is what I said. I asked I asked somebody a question. I said, name a successful woman. Rihanna. See? Bingo. You, you, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even finish the question. So we got to ask the question for the post edit. So the question is, name a successful woman that's a pothead. Rihanna. She's been like super successful lately too. Okay. <laughs> and I like that answer. And I'm not going to hate on Riri because I love Riri, right? But I'm going to say this. Name a successful woman that's not an entertainer. How would I know? I don't know what these people do. All right. Name a successful woman that's not a singer or a rapper. She's not... Technically, she's not a singer anymore. What? She can't sing? What? No, she... When's the last time you heard a Rihanna song? You you bugging. Don't talk about Riri like that. I'm anyway, just saying she's doing other things now. Fenty. Rihanna got Fenty. But anyway, what I'm saying is this, right? Shout out to Rihanna, too. She had a nice Fenty event at the Barclays Center that me and my daughter really loved last year or the year before that. I don't remember, but it was dope. Or she might have had it two years in a row. I don't anyway. But I'm saying... Name a successful entertainer that's not a singer or a rapper that's a woman that is a pothead. No, the reason why you can't name too much is because there is none. No, you can't say that. Who? Oprah? I think that Oprah, you smoking weed, Oprah? I'm gonna give you a bag. I'm gonna give you a bag. I'm gonna give you a bag. It's because when you're not an entertainer, Mm -hmm. it's not as cool Mm -hmm. or as accepted to speak about it like as an entertain like as a, a rapper or a singer that just comes with the culture so you can openly speak it does, about it cuz i know i know i know a lot of rappers and singers that don't smoke or drink like 50 cent okay i'm not saying there's always going to be an exception oh. <laughs> <laughs> like what are you talking what about I'm saying there's is this. always going to be an exception so I'm, good, so, no, no, but I'm just saying it's something that people don't frown upon it when you're a rapper and a singer. They don't care. Okay. That's just part but of it. But it's not even not about caring. The reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is because this, right? I believe that women are not able to handle marijuana like men. I think that it burns our brain cells. You know weed burns your brain cells. Though. You know that, right? Mm. Okay. It kills your brain, don't you? No, it kills your brain, don't you? Remember that movie? Weed burns your brain cells. Yes, we do know that. I burn. Mm, right? I know. That's why you're a little, you're a little off nowadays. No. <laughs> nah, buddy. Anyway, weed burns your brain cells, right? When it burns a woman's brain cells, it is different from burning a man's brain cells. Y'all, and then you're going to like this. Okay. Women are the brains of the family. Let's say this again. Women are the brains of the family. Mm-hmm. They make sure the bills get paid. Even if it's not their money. Baby, did you pay the light bill? Okay? Even if they're not paying the rent. They could be paying it whatever or half. It doesn't matter. But they will make sure that that shit gets done 
when it's supposed to get done because they're thinking about life on a constant basis. I agree with you. So this is the reason why I feel like you don't see too many women smoking so much weed all the time is because eventually they give up on it. Like, you know what? I can't make the right decisions all the time and be successful at everything I want to be successful at if I'm smoking too much weed. That's my theory. That's why I say you won't find as much successful women that smoke weed as there are men. Because y'all eventually stop doing that shit. Like, yo, I can't do it no more. I'm done. We like, fuck that, I'm gonna smoke till I reach 102. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I guess. Died. I forgot to plug the phone in. I guess I can agree with that. Mm-hmm.